Hi there, this is John Wilkinson again from History Made Easier. I've already mentioned that my ebooks include note frameworks designed to direct your notes to potential exam questions, thereby maximizing their usefulness to you. Well, this presentation, in looking at the Treaty of Versailles, will make use of some of those frameworks. Now I'm not going to present the details of the treaty. That would be boring, I think, in this kind of presentation. Though, of course, it's absolutely essential that you should know them. But as you can see in this overarching framework, I encourage my students to move from the detail of those terms to consider the reasons behind them, their impact on Germany, whether they were fair or justified or not, and whether they were likely to be effective, useful for addressing whether it was a good or a bad treaty, as well as how we came to have a Second World War. Always link your topics when it's appropriate to do so. And I've added a few past exam questions to show how the notes will direct you to answering them. So for this presentation, I would encourage you to pause on each slide so that you can see what I'm trying to achieve with these frameworks. But this framework is overarching and you will need other frameworks. What follows are a couple of examples of what else you will need. Now the following two frameworks are subtly different. This first one focuses on the aims of each of the big three, where they achieved those aims or came close to doing so, and where they failed to do so. And again, you can see the kind of questions they cover. Whereas this framework focuses on the reasons behind why they failed to achieve all their aims and how they will have felt as the treaty was concluded. And this framework could be replicated to cover all the treaties. You'll find that you don't always have to make new notes in completing frameworks. Often it's a matter of cut and paste with a little redirection to make your notes appropriate for each of them. Finally, a slide to remind you to make links in history. You can link back to the mood of 1919, to the context to the Treaty of Versailles, and forward to other topics. It will help those other topics as they will help your work on the treaty. Links make for very, very good history. So, a short presentation this time, but I hope a really useful one. You know, I've spent an awful lot of time studying past questions. I have a complete set dating back to 2000 and I've broken them down into the different topic areas. I do this to make sure my teaching and my books include enough material for A-star answers for whatever question might come your way. And I think I have it covered, <laughs> though I never stop rechecking. I do hope you found this example useful. And as always, I thank you for listening. But I remind you to not forget my website, History Made Easier. It's there to help you too. But for now, cheers.